NASA B-2C, demonstrating the shortcoming of the aircraft here. It originally went to France in August 1914. That aircraft, flown by Matthew Boddington, uh, is actually going to make a crossing of the channel on August 13, 2014, to land in Amiens 100 years to the day from the arrival of the first aircraft of the British Expeditionary Force. But what we're now seeing is a recreation of pretty much what you would have seen in the trenches between 1914 and 1918. If you were sitting in the mud, taking shelter from the that became known as a dog fight. If you look closely, well, it's built really to the traditional construction of the Sopwith pup which preceded it and the Sopwith camel by plane that came later. The idea of putting triple wings on was to have narrow wings to try and improve the pilot's visibility, at least while dog fighting, and also to have a better rate of climb and a better turning radius. The Fokker triplanes, if you look closely, don't have bracing wires. They were designed actually on a more advanced structural principle, and the Fokker triplane has no bracing wires, and in actual fact, the wing struts on the Fokker triplane really are only necessary to try, again, slipping there the Fokker triplane, to try not to overshoot the target. If he goes too fast, gets underneath the solid triplane, he becomes the hunted rather than the hunter. But the struts between the wings of the Fokker triplane really were there more to give the pilots confidence than they were to actually do too much more to the structure. The second Fokker triplane there, in the smoke of the BE-2, has obviously just taken a hit as the uh, red and white snake motif on that aeroplane, and that is actually um, an aircraft that was flown, the markings of an aircraft flown in 1917 and 1980 by Lutz Beckmann, uh, a German ace, uh, Ludwig uh, Beckmann, actually survived the war and actually found himself during the Second World War as the commander of a German air transport unit flying Jukas 52 tri-motors. Well, running in down the crowd line again, the Sopwith triplane leads the Fokker triplane. Then we've got the SE5 with the Junkers CL1 behind it, then turning in, going in the opposite direction, the other Junkers CL1 wingtips and the reason for the streamers on the aircraft wingtips was in the days before aeroplanes carried radio if you were flying in a formation you'd want to know who your formation leader was by putting streamers on the struts or streamers on the wingtips it meant the other